So Simon, how did this idea come about? Well, we know that Haiti is a humanitarian disaster. And of course, Haiti was so close to disaster before the earthquake happened that uh, it would have needed much less to uh, create a catastrophe there. And it was simply the orchestra's immediate feeling as UNICEF goodwill ambassadors that we must do something. What can we do quickly is give a concert for Haiti, uh, particularly because the idea of a charity concert keeps things in people's minds, keeps them giving, because we will need people to carry on and carry on and carry on giving, to try to make some nor normality there. Mrs. Uchida, when I phoned you, your reaction was so heartfelt and spontaneous. Thank you, first of all, but tell us also what immediately went through your head. I think it is the immediate thing we can do, we musicians. Um, what we can do is to make music. And music, great music, is a gift that is given to us. And to share the music is the only thing that we can do. By doing so, invite other people to be able to give is something fantastic. Haiti needs more than the money that is immediately needed. We can maybe turn it into something positive that everybody really helps to build up this little country. That would be wonderful. Mrs. Christiansen, you're national ambassador for Haiti of Germany. Can you describe to us the situation of the children before the earthquake? It was, like you said, not only one of the poorest countries, but the situation for the children there was touching my heart when I landed there for the first time and the second time, as I've never felt before. If you have seen these slums like the City Soleil, where the kids were running around, and not several kids, but hundreds, thousands of kids, you know, without clothes. They were, they had no access to water, to drinkable water. Thousands of them were working from the age of four onward as house slaves. So the situation was a very poor situation. What, what kind of concrete um, programs and help is UNICEF organizing now for the children in Haiti? In the moment, um, it's really a lot that we are organizing. I mean, from the first moment on, because UNICEF is always helping as well as in the first moment, but also in the long-lasting aspect. That means we have been in this country since, I think, 1949 already. So our people who are working there know very well the situation. We have a lot of local people who are working for us there. Mm -hmm. So they know exactly what schools, what hospitals, what is needed in which area, and so on. Mm -hmm. They have been involved in so many hurricanes that this country has seen and that the country was really crippled by. And so that this catastrophe with the earthquake was only the last, really the last yeah. and huge drop. I mean, so we're trying to bring, first of all, help for the children, help for the families. That means sanitary, drugs, um, prescriptions. But the water is one of the main problems, you know, because of the water. We have seen now that so many children are getting ill and we try to avoid a second catastrophe after the first catastrophe. One of our main points is to find the parents for thousands and thousands of children that are running around in the streets unaccompanied, that don't know where to go, and we help them to find the parents, and we hope we can find a lot of parents. Mr. Paru, as we've just heard, this is a very, very long-term issue to be addressing. And now that the orchestra has said, as UNICEF ambassadors, they want to dedicate themselves to Haiti. What does that mean exactly? Well, as Sir Simon said earlier, we do have a responsibility as a goodwill ambassadors of UNICEF, as a public persons, because an orchestra, an, an entity appearing on a stage is a public person. We all knew that the situation in Haiti was really terrible before, but now it is absolutely abominable. And as you were saying, the good thing is that it may raise the attention worldwide because as UNICEF ambassadors, we want to take care of the children and see that they have a future, they have hope. So let's get them to sing together. Let's get them to play rhythms together. There's so, so much music in this area of the world. We hope that these young children that we will be in touch with will have a future there and will be able to 
have a voice together, express themselves just by singing together, by sharing this rhythmical experience. We've been able to do all these educational projects here in Berlin by going to, to the children of the poor areas of Berlin. I think we can do it also together with children in Haiti and do this on a long-term perspective because it is very important that it is a sustainable and a long-term uh, view that we share and we are developing their tools in order to bring music and instruments and musical education to the children. And of course it may seem strange to be talking about it in this state where these children have not the very basic things, not safety, not water, not shelter, the basic things we consider are the right of a human being. But in the long term, as Mitsuko said, they will need also a spiritual help. Music is the international language. None of us are really speakers. We speak through our music. The music can bring people together. It can enable them to communicate to, together. It can find lost voices. And it can make people feel that they are not alone, that someone else understands, can bring joy into their life. And what is desperately important now is that we keep people's concentration in the long term uh, on Haiti, that it is not a matter that it goes quickly, and that we realize the level of rebuilding we are talking about is, I'm sure, a decade. And so when we say to ourselves, we are committed to this, we must really be committed to it. But I really do believe that at a certain point, the arts can join people together in a way that nothing else can. On the 20th of February at 8 p.m., we will play a concert in aid of the fundraising for the disaster in Haiti. Please come and join us. We will give every penny you give to us straight to the charity. Please enjoy the concert and come and be with us. 皆さんこんにちは。この演奏会2月20日のベルリンフィルドの演奏会はあのハイチの災害のあった方たちのために寄付することになってます。ですから皆さんが寄付してくださったお金も私たちの他のみんな直接ハイチに行くことになってます。